Oh my god. God, that's the scariest one. Okay, that's the scariest one. Just thought for a second my heart stopped. I couldn't breathe with anticipation for that. I hate that. There's nothing I, w I hate more than the sound of like footsteps getting closer and closer and closer and closer. And it's like, whoa, that was a lot. That one hurt my heart. <laughs> I didn't make a sound, but my body went into defense mode, which was apparently this. <laughs> I felt my whole body seize as the clown. I knew something was in there. I didn't know the angle was going to switch up. The, the child's voice laughing freaked me the hell out. This is my defense mechanism. <laughs> Oh, I love grave encounters. <laughs> yeah, it got me. <laughs> it got me. Because <laughs> I've only seen that movie once. I didn't know what the jump scare was going to be. Ooh, that did get me. It was really loud in the ears as well. That's waking me up at 8.47 on a Tuesday morning. Hey guys, welcome back to Top 10 Central Dark, your place for all things horror. I'm your host Lucy McPhee, and these are the scariest jump scares of the decade. As determined by who? You will never know. I've never seen this before. What the heck? Okay, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be really horrific, loud screeching. The sound cue prior to the jump scare kind of made it better. I knew something was about to come. I like that. The anticipation of, oh, these fireworks going off. <coughs> it, it, I've seen this one before. Many times, I know. Just the noise. Thankfully my volume was down pretty low, <laughs> thank god. <laughs> I connect with these like scary children that pop up in videos. I'm like, oh, that's, that seems like me. That's like me when I was a child. I was a scary child. Devil child. the noises. It's the noises. They're too loud and they hurt my ears. If there was no sound, I wouldn't be scared. It's the noise. And that's why I said, I've said it once, I'll say it again, we should just live in mute. Mute the earth. It's like still scares me. The anticipation. Because the animals. <laughs> This one's freaky. Backstory, the squirrel goes over to the mouse trap. It gets its little nose stuck. And then behind it, a squirrel friend comes to say, hey, you doing all right? And then this guy's having a seizure. And then he dies. Nah. Okay, this didn't scare me because I don't find this version of the woman in black very scary. I don't find the woman very scary. Don't particularly like the movie in general. The best version is the 80s version. And if you know, you know. The ending of it, when the woman in black just appears above his head and screams in his face and then he has a heart attack and dies. That is triggering.
Oh, look at her moving. I hate it. I just don't feel things anymore. <laughs> I don't know. I've seen this movie. This was a really bad movie and I think everyone can agree. No one said they l watched Mama and liked it. I've never met someone who watched Mama and liked it. Even Jessica Chastain probably has regrets about appearing in this movie. The effects were horrific. Well, there we guys have it. Thanks for tuning into this video. I've been your host, Lucy McPhee. Stick around for bloopers. Okay, that's fine, whatever. Three. Oh my God. Before I play the clip, if anyone knows, OG viewers of this channel, this was the promo video we reacted to to promote the channel. Someone might take offense to that, so maybe cut it. I'm not sure. We're calm. <laughs> We're calm. <laughs> well, there we go. But <laughs> I can't even speak now. That one kind of me up. I think I'm numb to feeling these days. <laughs> I knew that was coming though. It's the anticipation, it's the build up, it's the music. Freaks me out. Seen it so many times. Numb. <laughs>